Hello, YouTube. If you guys are watching this on my YouTube channel, I am streaming this live on Twitch. So if you guys want to see these site setups live, be sure to hit the Twitch link below. But this is Bar Games on Chalet. Bar Games on Chalet, it's like any kind of uh, first floor setup. You know, you can play a vertical. Oh my God, I got to buy. But Bar, the, the roam and the anchor are actually pretty similar because the the bump site is so open that you're kind of forced to roam on it. All right, so uh, we're gonna start out with the roam. Start with the roam with Alibi. Now, just the normal setup, you would just always, you never want to reinforce fully between, but like one wall, like right here is okay. I recommend just doing one wall, that way the whole wall is not soft, but you have some sort of uh, cover. So you can make head holes like this. And again, you guys can use any operator, but these are just kind of like the normal objective, what you want to try out. And then reinforce the bar stock wall right here. Say, what's good, YouTube? Coming out with that another set of video, my dudes. Lots of <laughs> loads of hand movements. Yeah. I'm sorry, but that is just not me. That's not me. All right. Well, basically, you know, have some, make get some good old angles right here. Uh, it's optional if you want to reinforce this wall or not, but you, know, you can if you want. So I would recommend making footholds like this. That way it's a little bit easier to see sight right there. Yeah, you can also reinforce this wall. So as a roam, you can kind of see that you don't really want to be sitting inside here because it's a very open space and there's a window right there. You also, I mean, sitting inside bar is also not that good of a spot to me. It's, it's okay to like camp, you know, anchor here a little bit, but you have to worry about a lot of different doors and it's a, the defense will be a little bit more effective if you spread out, spread out the dining a little bit, um, maybe main lobby as well, the basement stairs. But the biggest roam spot is definitely the top floor. Top floor to make vertical on the site. But personally, what I really recommend for you guys, you know, just slap some utility upstairs. I would always recommend reinfor uh, opening this hatch because that way you can see when people hop in the window. So don't reinforce this hatch. Uh, the bar hatch is optional. If you want to open or close, it's up to you. But I'm just going to open it for now. And then normally you will have a shield set up right here. Nice little shield setup. Add some Jaeger devices here. What brand are my earphones? I have both Sound Sport. Um, we can look them up. I would recommend reinforcing these top, uh, top mezzanine walls. That way, people don't have. If they open up this wall, they have a whole line of sight into the top, top right here, which is where you generally want to be roaming here. Um, but these are like the general reinforcements. Reinforce both of these walls as well, and then reinforce this wall. That way you don't get wall banged um, up top. So a lot, a lot of the walls up here, um, you want to make head holes so you can having these head holes basically allows you to have more lines of sight and uh, control more of the map, especially when you have 1.5. Now, now the since you are a roamer, like I said, on a map where it's like a first floor bomb site where there's a vertical play and there's a basement below you. You can honestly go anywhere on this map. The only the only bad side I would say is you don't really want to stick around uh, this side of the building, like master and um, dining area. Like you you can start here early on, but obviously you know you're kind of you're kind of holding some dead dead map control um, because you know the bomb sites over here, but. Like I said, you can light contest it. Be careful of uh, people camping and dining and holding an angle here. But your main your main idea, um, what you could do, you could just there really there really is no strat to this. The the strat is just you know wherever they're coming in from, just keep keep contesting them. Chalet is a very window heavy map, so you want to be careful about where you're running at certain times. Someone could be on big window. Um, but there's a lot of hatches for you to get around the map. So get creative with it. Just, just roam a few rooms away and you can honestly utilize this entire map 
for this bomb site. That's what I really love roaming on this bomb site. But the general spots for roaming or quote unquote roam is off site. Uh, this top floor hold. Normally the anchors would uh, play on these, this staircase holding that shield. They could be playing, you know, in bar stock right here. You know, you're all, you could actually just have like one or two people in the site and you could have like the whole team roaming. So that's the general um, roam spot, I would say. It, there really is no, this is a very unstructured strat. You could, it's like coastline in a way, you, you know, it just really relies on frags. The bomb generally will just go down behind these half walls. So try to find a way where you can deny them hopping into the window um, and planting there, which is, you know, play behind this. But the general rule of this bomb site is you want to deny as many entrances as you can. Um, like, you know, top up here, main lobby. Use your default cams as well. This will help you a little bit. And get an insight. But yeah, man, just, you know, get creative with it. And the more the more comfortable you feel around the map, you'll defend this bomb site a lot better. And this bomb site's actually a lot better than basement. So that is it for my roam. And then let's hover to the anchor, which is actually very similar to the roam. He eats uh, 412 chicken nuggets before he die. That is life-changing advice right there. I will not eat 400 nuggets. Heard that. All right. Now that we move on to the anchor site. So the anchor for a site like bar is not what you think. It's not staying in sight. It's really just contesting high or high area, high contestions of High areas of contention. I don't know why I can't speak right now, but uh, for example, let's just go. You could do what my you could do Goyo. I, let's go with Goyo for now. I would I would say an anchor is on this bomb site is kind of just considered people who make uh, your, they're kind of like the backbone of your your, your defense. People that uh, make sure no one's hopping through sight windows, getting close to sight. Um, bar door as well. As an anchor, you're kind of you're kind of pushing people off from entering this doorway, uh, this doorway from this hallway. Um, so basically, like an anchor could just be like someone that plays bottom blue like this and just holds this hall. Um, I'll, I, another anchor spot is this top area right here. You could put a shield top. This shield is very common, but really strong because you're able to deny this whole area of um it allows you to it allows you to play the library library area and the top fireplace very well um the a second show spot you can also put is right here this kind of helps you um you know defend k9 and you're basically able to hold up here without having to worry about getting shot too much combine this with some jaeger ads's and you'll be you'll be chilling same with right here and basically, I mean, it's literally the same exact, literally the same exact role as the roamer. You can, you can basically have the same, the same objectives. Try to shoot a lot of drones and just really, really be annoying on trying to get them, uh, let them walk into sight like this. The main idea I would say is you don't want them to get set up for a plant on the default. Normally what teams will try to do, they'll try to hop through games and possibly flood here, but they're going to try to contest live. If they're a good team, they will try to contest from above, but it's ranked and most of you guys are probably going to be solo queuing or five stacking, but it's reinforced the same walls I said, and roamers and anchors actually have pretty similar setups to this. The Your objective up here is to just try to stay up here as long as you can. Once your shields and get cleared up and... They have a lot of pressure, like a minute left in the round. You can give up up top. Once there's a minute left in the round, you should, you're kind of allowed to just give up up top and then spread out within sight. Just again, be careful. If you're all just in between the bomb sites, you have more angles to watch. So the best thing you do is just, you know, find, find an uncommon corner and just wait for them to come down. And I think that's the, the hardest thing about bar to attack is 
you have to clear up top first before if you want to enter horizontally but it depends on the rank but as long as you kind of get a good understanding of how to play bar there really there really is no set in stone default strat for bar it's just you know it's just a kill a tdm kill fest yo what's up velas hello cheers yoshi Someone in a ranked uh, had a tag of a pro league team and was throwing legit said if uh, you're going to have pro team tag, you at least be good. <laughs> wow. Disrespectful. Anyways. Um, but as an anchor, I'd say your objective and same with the roam is make sure no one creeps up the basement stairs. Make sure no one is just hopping in through uh, mud. You know, they're not they're not just getting really close to site without any contestion but this this bar site there really is not a lot of structure to it when you're playing ranked it's just try 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 your best to uh hold hold them at their entry points and go for kills right there the more kills you get the easier you will be winning the bomb site so i love bar personally bar is one of my favorite bomb sites in this map i would say it's a little bit better than master um even dining, I'd say. But that is my bar setup uh, for help you guys get better at ranks. I use this at like any any rank level, you know, diamond level, gold level, platinum level. Trust me, as long as you, you just gotta be a little aggressive, I'd say, on this bomb site. Don't be too passive. Don't be camping this circus the entire round. You know, run around, man. Just this bomb site, like I said, doesn't have a lot of structure to it. As long as you just, you know. You just got a frag out, baby. So that's my bar step for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next side setup. Love getting flashed. It's uh, you just need to. All right, let me just give you the quick rundown. So, lean in, lean out, move back to that direction, and then lean back in. It's it's like this. So, it's a very slow motion of it. But changing head level is pretty... It's just like another... Changing head level helps out a little bit. I would just... What, normally what I would do is a uh, quick peek at the first time. You like send a warning shot. And then wherever I see that guy's head, I'll just read just my crosshair. Crouch, change head level, and then re-peek him. pre far him. I tell you what brand my earphones are they are Bose Bose um yeah yeah I mean that's kind of the basic let's get the info of where he is readjust my crosshair to a head level and pre-fire it it takes a lot of practice so you, you don't expect to get it down the first like hour all right have a good night uh housey But yeah, I mean, you could just, um, it takes practice. It's, it's really hard. It's really hard to, uh, show it in slow motion. It's, it's more of a thing that needs to be done quickly. 